In this video, we're going to look at WebAuthn pass keys and how you can use Soroban contracts to create smart wallets on the Stellar network. This enables web free developers to create seamless user experience on their decentralized applications, including passwordless and walletless authentication. Let's start by looking at what web authentication pass keys are and how they work. So this is a standard that was published by the Web Consortium and it's been adopted by all the big tech firms. It's widely used throughout all modern browsers. The general idea is that it lets you use biometric data such as face recognition or fingerprint scanning on your device to authenticate with a web application. So you have a key pair with a private key and a public key. Your private key would be stored within a secure enclave on your device. This is used to sign transactions. So the decentralized application will send you a challenge and you have to verify that you have control over the private key to sign that signature request. We can take this one step further by creating a smart contract which can verify this on chain. So that enables us to use like a factory contract to deploy smart wallets. This is a form of account abstraction so you can bake in other things within a contract such as social recovery or sponsored transactions and the user can sign to verify the control of that wallet using their biometric data. This offers a form of enhanced security over username and password combos, but it also creates these seamless flows, which are very interesting from a web free perspective because it means that users don't have to download a wallet, install that, set up, write down pass keys, go to an exchange to get funds. They can simply register and create a smart wallet using sponsored transactions and there's biometric data for authentication simply at the click of a button. Whereas onboarding new mainstream users has kind of held web free back a little bit. I think this is a whole new paradigm and it's going to create a situation where web free applications have at least as good if not a superior registration flow and a conversion process for new users. So without further ado let's look at how we would set this up in a simple react app. The code for this is all on github it's all open source we can go ahead and clone this repository. So we're going to git clone github. We're going to move into that directory with cd webauthn passkey and we do npm install. You can need node.js installed on your system here, npm is the node package manager. Once that's finished loading we can run npm start and that will create a React development environment. We've got this front end loaded. We'll jump into the code in this in a while but you can see we can just register passkey. It will come up with this little pop-up prompt saying create a passkey to sign into localhost, create. I have to look at the camera to make sure it verifies you. And we've got this, it's created a credential ID and a public key. Let's now sign a transaction. And the verification is complete. Now with this, there's two options. You can either do it platform or cross-platform. This is currently set up to do work on the current platform that the device is operating on. Whereas cross-platform, it prompts you to use your mobile phone. If we dive into the code, we're going to source an app.js. Zoom in a little bit. And if we scroll down, so we're using navigator.credentials.create to create this new pass key authentication. And here we've got a challenge. And in a production environment, this would be a unique identifier for each user. We've got the authentication attachment. This is where if you want to kind of use a mobile device, you can set this to cross-platform. And then user verification require, which means they've got to sign a transaction. So if we scroll down, we've got this sign web authent function. And all this does is it takes the credential ID reference and it turns that into bytes. And then we're using navigator.credentials.get to request that the user signs this transaction. From that, we get a signature here, which we can pass into the Sora brand smart contract to verify. Note that we're not using any library for this. This is native to all modern browser environments. Now let's take a look at how we'd create these smart contract wallets on the back end. So every time a user registers, there's a factory contract which would be responsible for deploying a new smart wallet contract for each user. So every user has their own smart contract which is essentially their smart wallet. This smart wallet could have additional logic within that contract, things like social recovery, sponsored transactions, and all the other account abstraction benefits. The smart wallet also contains the public key from their passkey authentication. So when they want to sign a transaction, they can authenticate by the private key, which is still stored on their device. There is native functionality for this within Soroban. So if we dive into the code for the Soroban contracts, 
Within the crypto module of the Soroban SDK, we have this Prime256 verification function, which we can pass in a public key, the payload and the signature, and it will verify that the signature matches that public key. The ability to verify these signatures within a smart contract is very powerful because it means we can interact directly with the contract itself. We don't need a backend. We can do all this in a decentralized manner within smart contracts operating on a peer-to-peer -peer network. If you want to dive into using passkeys on your decentralized applications, then there's some great resources in line. There's a tutorial link to in the description, which goes through how I built a React app. There's a great blog post, code base and demo from Kale Pale, where he goes through building a Savelle app and the factory contracts for that on the back end. And there's also the developer documentation on the Stellar website. Don't forget, if you're anywhere in London on the 12th of October, there's the EZA by Stellar Hackathon. That's followed by the Meridian Conference. And there's some more info you can find out about that here. My name is James Puccini. Please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. And thank you for watching.